Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. Today we're doing some massive cleaning. We are cleaning up this porch, which we had a big old nasty storm come through and do a lot of this damage, but most of the damage is done by a storm called Blue Jeans. She's my Australian Shepherd and she is a force to be reckoned with. She is a giant energetic crazy bull in the china shop, but we love her and I don't mind cleaning up after her. We're gonna start off by getting the porch into tip top shape and then we're moving into the inside. Okay, I can't really blame all of that on the storm. Half of that goes to blue jeans and a quarter of it goes to us. So the storm did half the damage. Surprisingly, I have a few free hours in the day and I'm going to work my booty off on getting this in tip top shape. We have had nonstop rain for the last several days and it has been like a puddle of mud out here. You can't walk anywhere without getting mud all over you. Today the sun came out though and it's really pretty and it's not too too cold. It's a little bit cold because y'all know I'm well insulated so if I'm wearing this and you know it's it's I mean there's a breeze but it's really nice. I think it's like almost 60. So it's the perfect day to get this done if I'm going to get this done anytime soon. We've got muddy paw prints all over the porch we've got mud covered cushions thank you blue jeans we have diy curtains off of the hooks thank you blue jeans that might have been the storm i'm gonna still blame it on blue jeans everything gets blamed on blue jeans right now because she's the puppy binks and tater are precious and moon pie does no wrong apparently to shane so everything gets blamed on poor blue if i had known when i had picked the dark stain for this porch that mud would show up. I thought I was doing myself a favor by picking something dark because I didn't think mud would show up as much because I knew I had four dogs and I have kids and we're always outside these days. So I thought I was doing myself a favor by picking a dark stain. Apparently I'm not because look at you. It's so visible. It's so visible. You can see everywhere my little puppies have trotted. <laughs> everywhere they've also trotted over here on the door blue jeans it ain't nothing we can't fix and we got a pretty day to do it so we're gonna do that while listening to some christmas music out here on the tv i also got binks and tater a lot of y'all have been missing binks and tater i also got binks and tater out here with me because it is such a pretty day i got them out here in their little puppy playpen they're over there in the shade the binks and tater what you doing uh, youtube misses you <laughs> the babies i wish that they could run around with me on the porch while i'm doing this they wouldn't destroy it as much as Blue jeans and moon pie. Blue jeans and moon pie cannot be out here while I'm cleaning because they're just giant. And they will mess up all of my hard work. Banks and Tater are tiny so they wouldn't but Tater likes to bolt. I told you guys one of the first few days that we were here like she bolted out into the field with a mule. And that mule is known for bringing coyotes to the fence right. So she went over. I about had a heart attack because A. Coyotes are out that way. B a mule who stomps on coyotes it doesn't like anything in its fence that's what it's made for the farmer keeps it there so nothing comes in she goes right back there climbs underneath the fence because there's a fence barrier between our land and his land and it goes right over there to say hi to the mule so until we get the privacy fence put up which we're i got an envelope going on for it they have to stay in the playpen a binks can come out he won't go nowhere but if Binks comes out and Tater's left in there, she gets so mad and she cries. And I don't want her to be lonely. So I got them that little mini playpen at Tractor Supply, I think. And it kind of works as like, you know, like when you have a baby and you want to take it outside. You have that little playpen thing for them. <laughs> like, it's bougie. But I got them out here with me because they like being outside on pretty days. So they're going to keep me company because the kiddos are busy in there. Let's clean this Joe Dirt porch because that's what it's looking like right now. It's giving Joe Dirt. All my neighbors in a mile radius is about to get a serenade for me because let it snows on this porch was very overwhelming to me initially so i broke it up into my mind into sections and i thought like okay i'm gonna tackle this section then i'm gonna move on to the next section and tackle it and not tackle it as an entire cleanup project but little wins right <laughs> little wins equal big wins so i if i got all the stuff off the porch that was a win for me i wasn't gonna stop nothing can stop me now <laughs> but that was a win for me once i got everything off once i started scrubbing hand scrubbing the porch and got a lot of it done it was a win for me that's how i had to work on this because looking at it and the mess and the mud caked on it and everything was a lot i do a lot of my cleaning that way and it's really hard for me to get motivated to clean so i can't bank off motivation i just have to do this daggone thing but when I do it in sections and I get those little wins it encourages me to keep going and I go further and bigger than I would have if I had just made one big project in my brain it's how my brain works and I kind of have to work with it but me doing that always puts me in a cleaning mode always and it helps my ADHD brain to be in clean mode so once I start having those little wins I'm pumped up I'm like yeah I got this boy and I start taking down the curtains and Laura Engel style cleaning them <laughs> I do things I wouldn't normally 
normally do. I'm doing things I've never done. I'm doing all the things when I get into that mindset. I'm in beast mode. And that's exactly what doing these little wins on the porch did for me in this video. I was getting those little wins. So I was encouraged and I was ready and I was feeling myself. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to wash these curtains. Do they go back outside? Yes. Are they going to get dirty and rained on again in like two days? Yes. Is Blue Jeans probably going to destroy them again in just a matter of minutes? Yes. But I was in beast mode and nobody can tell me nothing when I'm in beast mode. I basically play reverse psychology on myself. I play myself and I don't even realize it. So at this point, I've already got the curtains and the washer. I can't stop there. I gotta get these cushions unwrapped and you see how dirty those are. They need a good washing. So I'm taking the covers off of these and they're gonna go into the wash as soon as the curtains get done washing. I made a concoction for all the stuff I'm washing today and I made it out of Dawn dish soap, Purex, laundry detergent, some bull racks, and some OxyClean magic powder stuff. I'm scrubbing the porch with the same concoction minus the Purex laundry detergent. I've just got some borax in here. Oh, and I don't have the, the OxyClean powder stuff in here either. I just have some borax in here. Very, very hot, hot, hot water. And I kind of disintegrated the borax into the hot water. And then I added some Dawn dish soap. And I'm scrubbing with an old scrubber thing that I had in my sink that's probably been there for two years no i haven't lived here two years <laughs> probably been in there for two months that i really shouldn't be using on my dishes but it's fine to be using it on the porch <laughs> honestly it's got dawn dish soap on it and it's got borax on it it can't be that dirty i mean once you put that stuff on it it kind of cleans itself don't it So I had to take a break yesterday because it got freezing. It was getting dark and I was soaking wet from hand scrubbing this daggone porch. And it felt like I was turning into a popsicle. So I was like, oh, it's nothing. I can just pick it back up tomorrow. Well, dummy me. Forgot that like my dogs have to go out to use the bathroom. <laughs> so look what happened to all my hard work. I scrubbed this thing for two hours. 
Oh my gosh. Already. Should have finished it yesterday, but I was like, man, it is too cold to be out here playing in water. So I'm not I'm not redoing it. I'm not re-scrubbing it. I'm just gonna mop my porch. What kind of content are you gonna get when you visit Fearfully Created's YouTube channel? You're gonna get porch mopping. <laughs> I'm so weird. Okay, in my bucket here, I got some Dawn dish soap, hot water, and some bone racks. Don't really know what the bow racks is for, but it can't hurt it, right? The reason I had hand washed this in the first place was because I had tried mopping the porch a while back and it just didn't get that mud off. But I realized it's because I wasn't using enough water and it wasn't hot enough water. Once I used this hot water with the borax and the Dawn dish soap and I used a new mop head, it was cutting that mud like nobody's business. So I should have done this from the very beginning. That water is really what gets that traction going with the mop onto the porch and getting that caked on mud off. So that was my problem the first time. I should have just been using more hot Hot water because using the hot water this go around really made a difference Oh yeah, that looks so much better. Once half of the porch was mopped and cleaned really good, I started moving my furniture onto that side so that I could tackle the other side. I had my couches in like an L shape almost, kind of like a half square, and I really liked it that way, but I was messing around and I was looking at it and I was like, ooh, I can make two couches into one really big couch and it could all be there in front of the TV so it wouldn't be angled weird and nobody would have to like turn their head to like watch the TV. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm just making my two couches into one really long couch. So the thing for today is pink. <laughs> I'm using my favorite method spray, which is pink. And these rags that I got at Roast, they're pink.
to the moon. My curtains are smelling so fresh and so clean. And by curtains, I mean my cut up canvas cloths because that's exactly what this is. I've got an envelope going for actual porch curtains, but in order for it to fit into the budget when we did this porch makeover, I needed to use these canvas cloths because they were cheaper than the curtains like the porch curtains I could find out and about I did find cheaper porch curtains on Amazon so you really don't have to go this route I mean for a dollar more you can get actual porch curtains so that's what I'm saving up for and then I'll use these for something else I'm gonna do a refresh on this porch anyway I'm just not happy with the fireplace you guys know I struggled with that faux stone I struggled with it so bad and once I got it up there and I've looked at it for a few days I was like I I'm not leaving it this way I, I don't ever leave a project done in a way that I don't like it done and it may take me a a while to save up to redo that thing but I will redo that thing if I don't like it so I've got an envelope going to fix that fireplace it's the only thing I really just don't like on this porch I love everything else but the fireplace it's got it's got to be revamped that fireplace was just a product of some disappointing material that faux brick I'm just not a fan of you know I did the best I could do painting it to to make it look more my style but it didn't really end up my style that's just not the fireplace just isn't my style and it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb especially once we get more of the inside the house done you're gonna walk up on the porch and be like well this looks a lot different than the inside because it's just not my style so we're gonna get it redone I mean not anytime soon I have a lot going on in the house but I do have an envelope going I do like to tell you guys what envelopes I have going I do have an envelope going for that fireplace one of my many skills I'm making things up all in my mind cuz I analyze their body language I hear every change in their tone Maybe they hate me Somehow I play me My mama said That's just the way to the world It's not personal, it's just how it works Don't be angry for too long, I'll get burned Cause that's just the Getting these covers back on these cushions was a nightmare, but it was so worth it because it, they smell and look so much cleaner and fresher. The weight of the ocean You keep climbing mountains Too blind to see It's not getting you closer To where you wanna be in your life The weight on your shoulders Time to put it down You fall and you break You got battles to take them But you figure it out, yeah and You fall and you break You got changes to make now See the light at the end of the tunnel It's right there and I just look up and follow Take one step at a time, babe, I'm with you All the way So baby, get up, 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 up No, don't you stay Get up, baby, get up. The bright 
I got a zipper here that doesn't want to stay connected. And how we're going to fix that is we're going to clamp down this a little bit and make it tighter so it can clamp those two sides together. Yeah, let's see if that did any better. This was your daily dose of Shane Wisdom that I got from another dude on YouTube. So technically it's his wisdom, but <laughs> <laughs> still. <laughs> I think I might just play that song in every video for the rest of my life. <laughs> Baby, get up and do the daggone thing. I know it's a mess in there. I know that you're overwhelmed. I know that you don't feel like doing nothing. I know that you do it and it just gets messy again. But baby, get up and do the daggone thing you'll feel so much better. I feel so much better having that porch done. I made these sandwiches uh, last week and they have been a hit ever since. It's kind of a sloppy joe and a Philly cheesesteak combo. Shane and Colton really, really loved these. In my opinion, I prefer a sloppy joe or I prefer a Philly cheesesteak over this, but it's easy and it's nice to just throw it in the pan and let it cook and be done with it. If you really, really love Philly cheesesteaks, then I would try this out to maybe add it into your weekly meal rotation because this is the perfect weeknight meal. It's just quick and simple and it doesn't take a lot of effort and it doesn't take a lot of skill. Trust me. I chopped up my vegetables and then I added some olive oil to the pan and I cooked my vegetables just until they were a little bit soft. Not mushy. Not mushy. You don't want these mushy because that will be gross. You just want them soft. Like firm but soft. Once I had them cooked up, I removed them from the pan and I added my big old, I call them ground beef hockey pucks because they're frozen and they have a little bit of frostbite on them, but you really don't taste it. Once you add all these peppers and all the seasonings and all the cheese on top of it, you can't taste the freezer burnt frozen hockey pucks. So I'm not even worried about that, but I added two of these, which is two pounds because I wanted some left over. Shane always has two sandwiches, so we always need quite a bit, but I like having leftover for the next day for lunch too. I'm using paprika, salt, pepper, and onion powder, I believe that I use. I might have used a little bit of garlic powder too. I ground up the hamburger meat. The way I cook it when I have it the frozen hockey puck style, I just put it in there, put a lid on it, and cook it on low for about an hour, and then it comes out really good and it don't come out dry. I'm adding the peppers back into the ground beef after I drain all of the grease, and then I'm putting smoked provolone on the top. Smoked provolone is really, really hard to melt down, so what I do is I just layer it on the top in like a circle, and like put the lid on it, and once I put the lid on it, I still cook it on low for about 15 minutes, and then it's kind of melted enough to mix into the hamburger meat and vegetable mixture. I also added about a half a cup of shredded mozzarella to make it extra, extra cheesy, because provolone doesn't melt really easily. It's not one of those cheeses that it's known for melting well, but if you add some mozzarella in there, you get this consistency, which is a really good consistency to go on Sloppy Joe's slash Philly cheesesteak baby sandwiches because that's what this is. It's a Philly cheesesteak sloppy joe combo and Shane really loved these. Colton asked for some every single day almost. I don't have a biscuit basket on but um, I need to clean my room. 
<laughs> I just got out of the shower. It's about 7.30 and I want to get my room really clean because it's a mess. And I want to be able to relax in bed with Shane here in a little bit once everybody else is asleep and like read or something until I go to bed. So that means I need to tidy it up in here because it's gotten a little bit out of control. My bedroom's always out of control. It used to be a lot more out of control than it is now. That's just because I tackle it now more often than I used to. Used to I tackle it like once every other month. Now I tackle it once a week. Not perfect, but progress. <laughs> I'm going to get some music up here on the TV and I'm just going to quickly do like a 30 minute tidy up just to get it really cozy in here and stuff so I can relax in here and not be looking around at all this mess and getting like anxious over it. So starting the timer now, it is 7.45. We're gonna get this room done by 8.15, vacuumed and everything. I can't wash my sheets tonight because it's about bedtime. I don't think they get done. And I have been there, done that, where I've had to sleep on no sheet beds because the sheets aren't dried yet. And I don't like that. I have sensory issues. So when I'm touching that mattress, I might as well be like rolling over caterpillars. I cannot, cannot. So I'm not even gonna chance it and try washing my sheets tonight. We're just going to, they're not dirty. I mean, I washed them two weeks ago. <laughs> washed them two weeks ago. That's not bad, right? I think you're supposed to wash them once every week, but that just means um, I'm almost there. That just means I'm almost there. I've got just random clothes here everywhere. I've got a box of clothes over here. Those are clothes I wear very often. And then I have a box of clothes in that we're still living in boxes here, y'all. It's been like four months since we bought this house and we're still living in boxes. I got boxes, two boxes in the closet. I got a box I don't ever wear, which needs to be donated. I got a box I sometimes wear. And then I got a box over here in the corner of my room that I just constantly pull out of and it's stuff I wear all the time. I may just leave that box over there because right now it's doing it for me I don't know yet does it does it look a little I don't know we'll see like I'm not striving for aesthetic right now because my room is purple it's grimace purple it's not aesthetic it's also got action figures up on it. it's not aesthetic so I'm not striving for aesthetics or anything like that I'm just striving for clean tidy and cozy that's all we need over here so if I got a box of all, all the time used clothes over here that I'm always pulling from I wash them in between uses but sometimes but I'm always pulling from and that's doing it for me then I'm just may leave it there because it's doing it for me what we don't want is clothes like in the floor which surprisingly there's not a lot of clothes on the floor there's shoes and blankets and stuff but there's not a lot of clothes in the floor which is surprising because I usually always have clothes on the floor but I do have clothes on the bed and clothes in my box in the corner there I don't know we're just gonna do a quick tidy up I've probably had like 25 minutes now <laughs> Let's do the daggone thing. I probably have like 15 minutes left, but I've been sitting here standing my feet because like my feet, oh, and I don't wanna, I wanna be modest here. Y'all see, they are so bad. Like they look like alien feet or something. And I'm trying to sand them every time I get out of the shower and it's like it grows back overnight. It's like cauliflower. I don't know what to do to fix it. So many of you guys have gave me like ideas and I've tried them all. Some of y'all have even sent me like bars of soap and stuff to put on there. Sanders. Um, I think a pumice, puma, pum, pumba stone, uh, pumba stone, something like that. Some of it works better than others, but a lot of times it don't it don't work and I don't know why because I see it work on everybody else's feet it works on nanny's feet nanny has one of them motorized sanders I might as well go out here and get my rotary sander and see if that works I'm so tempted don't don't mind my shoe my <laughs> but I the, the ADHD is a little bit out of control today okay pause why are you laughing at me my daughter is over here like cracking up at me Pause the ADHD brain. Get in work mode, Marina. I got 15 minutes now. How many minutes do I have, Joe? I got, let's get my Kindle. My Kindle will tell me. Huh? Shane got me this Kindle for Christmas and let me open it earlier. Yes, I'm reading the best book, by the way. I'm reading um, this book called One Christmas Eve. And ooh, I got to tell you about it. Hold on. Let's see what we got here. Um, oh, it's already 7.52. So I, I, I got more. I got more. Um, I got like 20 minutes, right? 20, 20 minutes. Um, no, I don't. Yeah, I do. I'm reading this book called One Christmas Eve, and it takes place over three decades. So, we follow Kathy, who's from the 60s. She's an adult in the 60s. Helena, who's an adult in the 90s. And Eve, who's an adult in 2023. And it's generations of a family. So, the grandma is Kathy, the mom is Helena, and the daughter is Eve. And the tea in this book, oh my gosh. I thought I was just picking up like a cozy little Christmas book. I don't like 
books with like cartoons on the front if a book has a cartoon on the front nine times out of ten i'm not gonna like it at all i'm not even gonna finish it so i was looking for a christmas cozy book that didn't have a cartoon on the front of it and i found this just randomly on kindle unlimited and i was like i'm gonna try it it's the only thing i can find right now that don't have cartoons on the front so might as well Boy, let me tell you, this ain't for the faint of heart. I have already been like, <gasps> the audacity, and how could he, and who, who does she think she is? Like, I, it's days of our lives in a book form spanned over three decades. It's insane. I'm loving it. It has some language, obviously. It's an adult book, but I like it because there's no nitty-gritty scenes. You know what I'm talking about? There's nothing like that that I, so far, and I'm 50% through. I think I'm, let's see here. I am... 59% of the way through. I've, I'm reading it every night before I go to bed. 59% of the way through and so far there's not been a, a you know what scene or anything like that. Usually in all the books I read there's almost at least one and I have to skip over it. Sometimes I lose the plot whenever I do that and it's just not the same for the rest of the book because there's something that's been really important in that part of the book that I skipped over and I just don't get what's going on you know. And so usually I'll be loving a book up until then and then sometimes after that it's just not the same anymore. So I was worried this one would have those scenes and so far at 59% on Kindle Unlimited it has not and that's something I've been super ecstatic about because I've just been like slamming through that book like crazy now girls i have 15 minutes to get this done okay i'll help you enough about the candle enough about my rocky mountain feet let's just do the deck on thing this is the stuff i've been using on my feet it's what my nanny's husband got me and it seems to be working miracles because like it's just the stuff's falling off it's just not doing it as fast as i want it to i use this every night i think i'm supposed to be using it twice a day Cannot get it between your toes though because it will give you like gangrene, not really, but it, it won't it won't do you any favors if you put it between your toes. This is what I have been using though, and that's how I've been getting the results I've been getting right now, which is like literally I've been enamored by my feet tonight. I've just been it's just been falling off. That sounds really TMI, but y'all are my best friends. I tell y'all everything. I mean, y'all know everything but my bowel schedule. Might as well tell y'all that. Also, my mom put me onto this stuff. It's magnesium oil spray, and I got it from Walmart.com. I got Nanny one too because I've been loving it so much. It's been helping me. I noticed a difference after about seven days of using it. I spray three sprays on each arm every morning and rub it together. And I have felt that I have more energy and that I just overall feel better. I had enough energy, but I need a productive energy because I'm wired, but while I'm wired, I'm tired. <laughs> you know, I'm tired. I'm tiredly wired, you know. I can't help the fact that I'm wired because that's how my brain works, but I need that productive energy. And this is what's giving it for me. So I started putting it on and it stung a little bit, but I looked it up and it said that if it stings a little bit, then that just means you were deficient in it and that your body was needing it. And so after about seven days, it stopped stinging. I loved it so much I got some from Nanny and Shane's nose the difference in me so he started using it too and he's noticed the difference too. Shane will flat out tell you if something don't work and he says that that works. Let's clean. <laughs>
is what I need Now if you wanna get the best of me Caught you smiling, that's for sure Funny how you had the best of none I don't know if I'll make it home I don't know, not like I care All I know, sound up the score Only know I want the best of five So I I don't know what time it is though. Let me see here. And then I'll walk us through the tidiness. It is. It is. Uh, 8.43. Yeah, no. <laughs> it took way longer than I expected. But the important thing is it's clean. And I still yeah. have a little bit of time to read after I get the kiddos down. Floor is clear. Thank you, Jesus. We do have my box of clothes over here but like I said it works for me right now once the holidays are over and we get a bunch of the makeovers under our belt because once the holidays over I'm just busting through the whole room makeovers the only reason I haven't been doing home room makeovers lately is because of the fact that we moved here and then it seems like right after we moved here bam holidays were, were upcoming fall Halloween Thanksgiving Christmas all that stuff and it was just in the middle of that so once the new year comes around, we're busting out the makeovers. Whole rooms, half rooms, all the rooms. Once I get that under my belt, I wanna do a really, really big organize with me and just like implement a crap ton of organization into this house. Cause right now there is none and we're literally living out of boxes. But it works for right now and it's tidy over there so I, I don't mind. Bed is nice and tidied up. I did make my bed right before bed, but it's done. That's all that matters. <laughs> Windows and mirrors are all clean. And then I cleaned off this dresser here and got it nice and organized. Um, I've shown you guys some of these. This is my favorite perfume right now. It's like the Britney Curious, but like the nighttime version. I can't remember. 
Ariana Grande cloud will forever be one of my favorites. What I don't like and what I wouldn't recommend is what is this called? Lucky Brands. Lucky Brands. Lucky Brands? Nope. I don't even use that. I just hate wasting money on it, so it sits there. I don't feel right donating to anybody because it, it don't really smell good to me. It could to somebody else. I'm just. I don't want to give somebody and then they'll be like, oh girl, is she wanting to sabotage me? Like, does she want me walking around Walmart smelling like fart? I don't want anybody to think that. So, so it's just been chilling over there. But other than that, we got it nice and cozy in here and we're ready to relax once the kiddos are down. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a blessed morning, even or not, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see y'all later.